Aristocraft Trains has brought to market a 129th scale PCC trolley. This trolley can be used indoors or outdoors. The only other thing that you'll find inside the box is the owner's manual and we suggest that you take the time to read through each of the pages so you can become familiar with the operation of your PCC trolley. Electric railways were the backbone of the urban transportation system in the United States after World War I. In the mid-1920s, ridership was starting to decline due to competition from automobiles and buses. In 1929, the Electric Railway Presidential Conference Committee was formed and given the task of developing a modern streetcar to match the dependability, comfort, and improved appearance. The committee evaluated everything from controllers and brakes to the shape of the seats and exterior appearance. The new design was called the PCC after the Presidential Conference Committee and introduced in 1935. When construction ended in 1952, there were almost 5,000 PCC trolleys that had been built with four different body types and over 25 body styles and variations. The Aristocraft model is based on a specific car, number 101, in the Shoreline Trolley Museum in Brantford, Connecticut, built for the Brooklyn Queens Transit System. It's available in a variety of different road names from your local dealer. One of the nice features about the PCC trolley is that it will actually operate from overhead power. There is a large list of features on this trolley, including that operating trolley pole, interior lights and details, operating headlight, marker and destination boards, as well as operating brake lights and prototypical painting and lettering and road numbers. There are three switches on the bottom of the trolley. One is for the lights, one is for the motor, and one controls whether power is from the track or from the overhead pole. Please keep in mind that you must put the switch for the power in the correct direction for track or overhead. There's a large piece of paper inside that will remind you of this as well. You'll notice that there's not a lot of details on the bottom of this particular trolley. This new PCC trolley has a brand new designed power truck using ball bearing efficient motors. We placed our PCC trolley on top of some rollers on top of our track and then we attached a track side train engineer to run voltage to the unit. One thing that was nice was the inside lights came on with barely any voltage going through the track. We found that the unit's wheels started to roll with just a few volts of power as well. And we continued to ramp up the voltage to about 12 volts. And we found that the new motor blocks uh, drew very few amps. We thought we would take a minute and show you how to install the Aristocraft train engineer inside the PCC trolley because in actuality it only takes about a minute to do. You'll find a metal plate with two screws right where the switches are. All you need to do is remove the metal plate, remove a jumper, and then remove a dummy plug. You then take the train engineer, align it carefully, press it into place, and the installation is done. Once it's installed, all you need to do is create a new address for your PCC trolley. It's a very simple process with the train engineer. You just select an open address, type in the name of the unit that you're going to program there, We added the road number on ours, it was 1030. And then we asked it to link. What we did was we had our cover off, put it on the track, hit the button, and the two units instantly linked. Then you can remove it from the track and put the cover back on. 
Make sure you put the text next to the switches when you put your cover back on the PCC trolley. We then increase the number of cabs that we're running to five. We assigned this trolley to cab number five. And we were done programming and installing our remote control device. Once we had it installed, we found that we could make our trolley start to move with just about three volts of power and it moved very smoothly. One neat feature, the interior lights. You can take a look here to see exactly what they'll look like on your railroad. There's also a neat feature of brake lights. And as the unit is running, as you slow down, the brake lights will come on as the unit and the electronics inside sense that there's less power being applied to the trolley. There's a small delay, but it's kind of a neat feature. The weather was pretty bad in Idaho when we got our trolley, so we set up a temporary indoor layout where we could run our trolley waiting for the weather to clear. And it really looked neat. And we found that it operated very smoothly and the interior lights just looked wonderful. We also found that the trolley ran very, very smoothly at slow speeds. With the train engineer and the ability to click individual units at a time, we were able to bring our trolley in to a nice, smooth stop at the station every single time. Well, the weather in Idaho in the winter is not always snowy. So we did have an opportunity to take our trolley out on our outside track to run it around. One unintentional test of the PCC trolley outside was how well would it run on track that had not been cleaned in about four weeks and had just recently been uncovered by snow. And we were pleasantly surprised. The PCC trolley ran very, very well much better than most of the engines that we have ever run in a situation like the brass track being dirty. This unit is so exciting, we're thinking about building an indoor layout that might actually use overhead power and have this unit running down city streets. So take a look at the PCC trolley. It might be something that you can add to your railroad as well.